welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers welcome newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with me by hitting that subscription button which is free and the bell notification also please if you like the videos give a thumbs up on the video it's extremely important to have the video circulate and the only way it can be done is by being recognized by those thumbs up your comments your sharing your tagging if you're if you're doing my projects and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank every single one of you that I have donated to myself or for the women in need of thread. Thank you so much. So kind of you. Thank you. God bless you. Also want to mention that I do have a Facebook crochet private group. If you'd like to join, all you have to have is a profile picture and you can request and my monitors will look at your uh, Facebook uh, picture and accept you also I have a crochet page you can follow me there instagram tiktok and everything will be listed in the description box below you're more than welcome to participate in all my social medias that i am in also sometimes you know it's good for you if you're stuck in a project and you need some help that's the only way really you can message me and get me through to answer you back right away so i want to thank every single one of you so we're going to get started if you get stuck um, if it's too fast for you, because sometimes I don't head on my, my head. Up top, there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you would like. Also, turn your closed caption on. It's your CC, and all the letters, the, the stitch that I'm calling out, will be written down here. Okay, so it's much better for you to pause, take notes, and then continue from there in case you get lost somewhere. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody, and let's get started. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to create a half moon rug, which will have the same effect as some of you recall that, you know, that some of you follow me, that I had done some doilies and table runner, and I would call the certain effect that was on there, like chicken feet. I'll see if I have it here to show you. Okay, so some of you that follow me remember these ones and I would call this like chicken feet and then I have the round one uh, doily but I'm going to create a half moon rug that's for like a back patio door let's say so I'm just gonna use whatever leftover um, this was requested by the way and I'm just going to use whatever leftover threads I have. And um, this is by, um, I can't remember her name. I'll come up with her name during the video. Uh, the designer, creator of that pattern. And she also has the half moon rug, which was requested. So I'm just going to do it from that. I'm also trying a new technique with the mobile to have to see if I get full screen. I've been looking at videos on YouTube to see how to get a full complete screen on my mobile. And hopefully I got the trick this time. Uh, apparently I had to lie it sideways in order to record. Let's see if this is going to work out. Okay, so I'm going to use a four point hook. These are macrame threads, 80% cotton thread. 20% different fibers. They're like a six ply, so they're like the thick ones. I'm going to incorporate some purple, tan colors, maybe light brown. I'll see as I go whatever threads I have left over to create this rug, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is that magic circle. In case you have a hard time with it, then do a six chain. We're going to do inside of this magic circle six double crochets. So my first, this is a darker tan like cafe latte. So I'm doing one chain, single, and two chain. This will equal my double crochet. I'm going to do five more. So I'll have the total of my six. four, five, and six, two, four, six. 
Okay, so her name is Luz Vanya Art Crochet. You guys must have heard me already mention that when I created that. It's on, in the description box, her her site, her website, um, or her YouTube uh, link. Okay, so 246. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to come back into the same space and create a single two chain. Inside of the same space, I'm creating another double crochet. Next space, two double crochet. So this row two, we're going to keep working back and forth on these rows because this is a half moon rug, so it's, it's not like we're going in circles. We're going to have a total of 12 double crochets, so it's two double crochets per space. And always when we get to the end, going into the next row, we're always going to do a single on the same space and two chain going up to equal that double crochet. Don't forget to come to your last one and do your two double crochets. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I'm going to turn around, and this is what I'm talking about. Each time we get to the end, I'm going to come in. You can do a three chain automatically if you want. I just don't want it to be too noticeable. I'm going to create again. This is row three, another double crochet in the same space. Next space, one alone. One chain space into the next one, two together. Next space, one alone. One chain space, next space, two together. So basically we're doing that uh, one chain space after we have done the three uh, crochets sort of like back to back. So we have the first one, two together, one alone, one chain, two together, one alone, one chain, two together, one alone, one chain between them. I'll meet you at the end. Whoop, almost knocking everything out of here. Okay, so I've turned around, I've done my single in the same space, I've done two chain, I'm going to come back. Now, you guys have seen, most of you that follow me, follow me have seen me do this type of pattern which is round for doilies. So two together, one alone, one alone. Obviously because this is half moon I'm not going around. So we're always going to do an increase at the beginning when we're turning our pattern. I'm going to, we're always going to do it this way also. So it's always an increase. We started with one, here we have two, here we have three, here we have four, one chain space and again two together at the beginning on the first double crochet and then one per space. So this row four obviously will have four double crochets. Of course because I'm using little threads here and there I'll be incorporating different colors on here. As soon as it runs out I'll be adding other colors. So we have four double crochet, one chain, four double crochet, one chain, Next row, five double crochet, one chain, five double crochet, one chain. Next row, six double crochet, one chain, six. To always increase at the beginning of your double crochet. I'm going to do 23 rows and I'll meet you at the end of my 23 row, which is just a repeat now all the way to the 23rd. And at the 23rd, you're supposed to have 23 double crochets, one chain space between them. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've done my 23 rows and I have 23 double crochets. I've turned around and of course, I've been running out of threads because I'm using leftover threads. So I'm into the lighter beige color. So I've turned around, did my single, my two chain, added one more. Now we're going to count eight double crochets. So we have three. This is row 24. Four. Five. Six. 
6, 7, and 8. We're going to do 2 chain, skip a space, and go into the next one. Like that. We're going to do now 7 double crochets. So I have 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 2 chain, skip a space into the next one and do 7 more double crochets. So the rest of the row will be groups of seven double crochets until the end. Only at the beginning we did eight double crochets, the first group. Everywhere else through the row is seven double crochets. Two, four, six, seven. Here we're going to continue to do that. Um, actually, two chain, and we're coming into the first one and doing these seven double crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I finished row 24 and going into row 25. I've turned around. I'm going to come back in, do my single two chain. I'm going to do again the increase here so we have two double crochets. Next space, one double crochet. So we have three, four, five, and six double crochets. But that's only for the beginning, okay? chain two. We're going to build three little boxes, squares. So we have the first one, chain two, into the next space, chain two, skip one into the next space. So now throughout the whole row we're only going to have three double crochets here in the center. And then build those boxes of three um, three uh, little boxes, okay, throughout the whole row. Chain two again, skip one, come in the next one, chain two, into the next space, chain two, skip one into the next one, and do our three double crochets again. So it's going to be like this all the way to the end chain two, skip one into the next one, and then continue again creating your three boxes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone, going into row 26, so I've turned around, did a single two chain, did one double crochet in the same space. This row will be exactly the same thing as the previous row, okay? We're just doing that increase there at the beginning here. Everything else stays the same. We're just going to do crochet over double crochet and where we have the chains we're going to do the chain two space. So we have two, four, six, seven. Two chain. We're going to continue to do the three little squares so it's exactly the same thing as we just did. And again the same thing double crochet, two chain, and the three double crochets here. So one per space. And then continue again with the two chain. And then after we finish this row, we're cutting our thread to do those 
chicken feet thing. That's what I call them. I don't know. They're leaves, but, you know, they remind me of chicken feet for some reason. I'm just silly like that, right? Gotta be silly sometimes. Can't take life too serious. If we take life too serious, we're going to go crazy. Okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I'm coming in with that green, that forest green, just because it's a back door and people are always in and out into the backyard. So we don't want too much of light colors, you know. They're going to get it dirty very fast. So I'm going to put the, the leaves. We're going to create the leaves. I came back. So we finished here on this side. Okay, cutting the thread. I've come to the beginning of my row, okay, where we have that seven double crochet. I'm going to come on my second chain where we went up the single and the two chain when we started the row. And we're going to do seven singles. I'll try to tuck in my loose end. I was thinking about doing the uh, fluorescent green because I still have quite a bit of that thread. But I said, mm, I don't think so. It's going to get dirty too fast. So, well, this is will get dirty too, but at least it's not like disgusting, noticeable, right? Okay, so we've done the seven double crochet. We're going to do chain four, creating the leaves. One, two, three, four. Now, some of you have done the other pieces already. We did chain three on here, but this time we're doing chain four. I'm going to come in the first one here. We're going to give it a stretch. One, Two, come into the bottom. One, two. Come into the very last one down here. And give it a good stretch because we don't want it to be pulling. Two, come into the next one. One, two. And finally into the last one up here. One, Two. We have to take them all out all at the same time. Now sometimes it's just easy, it goes smooth and sometimes it just gets stuck. So sometimes we have to redo it to loosen up our stitch. So if you find that you need to do three instead of two, then you can do that. Okay. So we've closed in one, two, three, four chain. So we've done chain four. I'm coming in the first double crochet and we're repeating the singles again, one per space. So we have three singles. And again, one, two, three, four chain. We're going to repeat again the same thing, coming into the first space. One, two. Coming into the bottom one. One, Two, coming into the last one and give it a good stretch. One, two, coming into the bottom here on this one. One, two, and then the very last one up top. One, two. Bring your string. Like I said, sometimes it sees it goes right through it, but some other times you just have to play with the thread a bit in order to get it all and it has to be stretched out if it's not stretched out it's going to look funny i'm just going to lock this in just to make sure and fix them here sometimes you just need to fix it a bit so we're going to repeat the same thing again all the way to the end of the row so we did one chain already because we closed in two three and four and repeat the process single, single, and single. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm basically almost reaching the end, I'm trying to get a little bit more lighting here. So I've done my four chains and I'm going to do exactly what I did at the beginning, the singles or exactly what we've been doing. 
the singles on here and then we can cut our thread and come in with whatever color you want to do your flowers okay I'm gonna cut my thread I'm gonna tuck in my loose ends and see which one I'm going to use I need to have enough thread to do the flowers or they're gonna be different colors not that it's bad I mean if you choose nice colors of thread we're, we're good to go but I don't want to stop in between I just want to go through it so I might even come in with like a, a nice hot yellow just to spice up the pattern a bit so after of course we stretch it out it becomes much nicer right okay so we're going to come right at the beginning again of this row that we started and I do the slip stitch knot and I'm going to come on the first single we have here with the single try to tuck in my loose end already for some reason this yellow is a little bit thicker than the rest don't know why okay so we're going to continue the singles I guess it's probably the make or maybe I just didn't look at the right number when I picked it or maybe I did pick it for some project that I absolutely needed this thickness I don't know I don't have a clue okay so I have one two three four five six singles I'm gonna do one two three chain or maybe four for some of you if your tension is tight I'm going whoops I'm gonna come in here in the center of my leaf and do a single one two three four chain I'm gonna come back in so I'm creating a V okay like that and then again one two and three for some of you you might need to do four chain if your tension is tight so I'm gonna do single one per space as we've been doing okay and then one two three I'm going to come in the center of my leaf with a single one two three four chain and I'm going to come back in so I'm creating these little loops that we need for the flower I'm going to do that all the way to the end so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I've reached the end we need to restart from the beginning of this row so it can stay on the right side so we need to cut the thread I'm just gonna tuck it in because then we'll hide it in between rows on the next row I'm just going back and forth on it and whatever's left I'll cut it in I'll cut it at the end so you're supposed to have 17 loops a four chain just to make sure that you're on the right track I mean if you have 16 you'll just have one flower less it's not going to change much on the pattern but for the amount of stitching we did that's what you're supposed to have so back to the beginning slip stitch knot we're going to come in the first single with a single next space two three four and five we're not doing the last one we are going to do so we're going to do triple crochet 
we're going to come inside of that four chain loop take out two take out two and take out the last two we're going to do this three times take out two take out two and the last two take out two take out two and the last two so we have three triple one two three chain I'm going to come in and do a single so we have our first petal of the first flower one two three that would equal my triple we're going to do four triples this time so we have two three and four one two three chain come back in the same space in the center single so the middle the middle flower will have five let's say triples that's included with the chain one two three and again we're going to do three triples one two three so it's single three chain and three triples that gives you the total of the four exactly like the first petal here three triples and then three chain and single okay so now we're going to come directly in the center in the middle of the single here with a single so you have your first flower again coming into the next one next V and create your uh, flowers all over again so we did one two three and then three chain and single so three triple so we have the three and now one two three single one two three and the middle one we're going to do four triples so we have so we can have um, one two three that's included with the chains we went up so we have four and one two three and that will be the fifth because the middle one has five and then again one two three and three triples again this is how it's going to be this whole row of these flowers So you have paddles, paddles of four at the beginning, five in the middle, and four at the end, coming to where the single is, right in the center, with a single. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much came to the end. And I'm going to skip the first one exactly how we did at the beginning and do my single, single, try to hide the little leftover thread that wasn't well hidden, single, which usually, you know, you check at the end whatever little threads are left, then you can cut the excess okay so we're done with this tuck in the loose ends also okay and now we're going to come back to our I'm going to come back to my light color because I don't have any more of my dark brown okay 
Okay. So on my first single, of course everything is like tight now, right? So I'm going to come in with a single. So single and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chain. That's only on the corner one. The rest of the other chains will be ten only. I'm going to skip the first one. I'm coming into the second triple with a single chain two skip this one and coming again into the next one so we skip the first the last and the middle one now we're going to do chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and again coming in skipping the first triple going into the second triple with a single chain two and again skip a triple into the next one. We're going to do this all the way to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and repeat everything again. Chain two, skip one into the next one. Okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I've reached the corner, which is 12 chains like we did at the beginning. I'm going to come in where we have our single with a single. And now we're going to work downwards. We're going to do singles all the way around until we meet the beginning of the row. Single where we have the single here, we're going to do a single trying to cover my my leftover thread. Single. So where we have the singles, this is what I'm doing. Singles. One, two, three. It's too much on here. It's supposed to have four. Try that again. So we have three. Yes, that was good. Four singles. This is where all the singles are. And then we're coming into where there's the, the triple, not the triple, the double crochet. We're doing two per space. Two singles on each double crochet. One, two. and two all the way around until we meet the beginning of the row up here on the other side. So very simple, just singles all the way through. Now of course everybody's stitch is different. I'm doing two, my thread is thick, but if you feel that you need to do three because your tension is extremely tight, then go ahead. I guess I'll cut my uh, leftovers as I'm going. Okay, so I'll meet you on the other side at the beginning so we can complete the chains here. So I'll do yours all the way around until we meet here. up top. Okay everyone, so I've done all my singles and I've reached where my 12 chain is up top. Now inside of this 12 chain I'm going to do 14 double crochets. Okay, so 14 
double crochets inside of my corner 12 chain. So I've done my 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whoops, thought I had done my 14. Fourteen, and now inside of my 10 chain I'm going to do 12 double crochet so it's going to be like this all the way through and we're pretty much at the end of it so then you can cut your thread tuck in your loose ends and we're pretty much done with this so basically you're just jumping from one side to the other I will have the video of the reveal shots also the pictures at the end and the measurements I want to thank every single one of you for being part of this journey with me please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and also if you're not subscribed please subscribe and hit that bell notification Thank you so much to everyone, and thank you, uh, Lusvania Art Crochet, beautiful um, set you have created. Thank you so much. Until next time, everybody, I send you much love and much hugs. Bye-bye, everyone.